Hello amigos. Uh, it's been a little bit since uh, la the last video I've uploaded about the, how the tramp is going to run. It runs good, runs all right, but you know, you have to give these things uh, a lot of miles after putting them together to see what else needs to be done. And, but the motor runs well, but it just leaked a little oil from the valve covers and needs a little of attention on the carburetor. Anyway, uh, apparently this motor has a little bit more power. It's also an 883 as the last motor was, but it has a, a little bit more of a compression ratio. And the last one had a 9 to 1 compression ratio, and this one has a 10 to 1. So I'm going to have to do a bit to the carburetor as far as rejetting. In 1990, uh, the carburetors came with some bigger jets than, than in 2002, which is what this motor is here. So um, this is it. I put a uh, new... Uh, rocker box gaskets in it. I'm not going to fire it up yet but because uh, I've got some other things that I'm going to change. I have made this motor run with everything that's 1990 as I did with the last engine that, that was in it and so far it's not uh, going to fly too well as far as air and fuel because the like I said with a more of a compression ratio it means a tighter or smaller combustion chamber. I don't need as much fuel to go through it. So I'm going to put some smaller jets in the carburetor. But at the same time, because I don't have a stock exhaust, these are just regular drag pipes, it definitely needs more airflow. So I'm not going to put the exact O2 uh, style or the O2 jets in it. I'm going to find the spot in between. But I'm also going to change this thing as well because that's going to go in a carburetor. So this thing here came in the mail since I was out of town for uh, for Thanksgiving. Uh, came from uh, Lowbrow Customs, and let's take a look and see what's inside. Okay, here's what we've got. This is the style air breather I decided to go with. Um, it is a mesh style air cleaner, and it has a washable air filter in it. The air will flow a lot better into the uh, carburetor than what I've got on there that's a stock from the from Harley Davidson since 1990 and uh, right here is the bracket that's going to uh, bolt to the heads this will go this will bolt to the the heads and these are the bolts that will bolt to the heads. these are breather bolts uh, it's kind of not exactly the style that I would prefer but I mean, I would prefer this style for what I've got, but I really don't like what Harley Davidson did as far as how the crankcase is going to breathe. But that's that's what I've got. This is what I'm talking about. This is the here's the old motor, and uh, well, I sure feel bad every time I look at it. It's like breaking up with an old girlfriend. Out there's there's not one bolt or one bearing or any part inside or out on this motor that has not passed through my hands. I know her very well. But anyway. This is what I was talking about with the breather, you know. This is the old style breather. This is a 86 to 90 era motor. Um, and this is where the, this is where the uh, crankcase would breathe, is right here. Then the hose would go up here and reach into the, uh, hold on, it would blow up into here. And it would, you know, recirculate it through the motor and all that stuff. But anyway, this is, this is what uh, Harley has done since uh, 91 and you know it's it's their prerogative but I, I don't prefer it now they don't breathe down down through here um, they breathe up here crankcase goes up into the heads and they come out through these little hoses and and you are sure sure eventually to get oil covered all up inside of here and get this air filter just freaking soaked with oil. That's what those bolts are for. They're supposed to bolt into there and just just be able to breathe freely without putting any oil into the air filter. But that's what I was talking about. Anyway, this this is going to go through here. This is going to hold this to that to the heads. This face here is going to go up against the carburetor and this here is going to go up against that. And this here's got some more hardware inside that's going to help bolt this up. So uh, Looking forward to seeing how this goes. Well, that's how the backing bracket goes on. Here's where those breather nuts are. Right there. You got a little uh, 
snap ring that holds a little filter in and stuff like that but I tell you what I don't know if I like this design or not even though it looks very sleek and in inconspicuous because when it's not a matter of if but when this carburetor ever has to come off or anything those bolts have to come out and these filters fit in pretty tight so I'm going to pretty much ruin these little filters getting them back out because the only way I can see getting them out is with a prying them out with a screwdriver and probably damaging them or or drilling a hole through there and pulling it out I'm not sure but for now I guess it'll work hopefully it works out for a little while but I can definitely see myself going with uh, a hex head style and rather than an allen bolt that goes through here I don't like that design very well but I bought it because it was inconspicuous looking and it does look nice but I don't think it's very user friendly if you ever have to pull this off because uh, that'll be the end of these little filters that are in here and here is the air filter on there not bad I kind of like how it looks I know I'm not the first one to use this this style of filter but I like it better than that ham shaped uh, air cleaner right there Next step, I guess, is to uh, pull that bowl off at the bottom of the carb, which I really like how accessible that is now, and uh, change the jets out to see how it runs. Okay, I've got the gas tank on it, and um, I changed out the the jets. I put a I put a few jets through it through there. Uh, tried different sizes, from a 42 to a 48 slow jet. So I got a 45 in it now, and I've tried a 165 to a 175 main jet on the carb, and I'm at a 170. So, and uh, so far it, it ought to sound okay. I saw it run okay. I ran it up and down the road already. So let me fire it back up and give you an idea how it sounds. I'll, I'll put on a moment here. I'll prop you up against this water bottle. Okay, not bad I suppose. I don't guess I'm out of the woods yet, but uh, they come pretty close to where it needs to be. As far as the air cleaner, again I like the design. It air flows through it a lot better, I believe. Still not a big fan of that breather bolt scenario right there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I got a little bit of oil happening right there. No doubt it came out of that. And it's brand new. Uh, gaskets on these rocker boxes so I know it's not them but anyway I guess I'll have to live with that so but that's that